Hey, what's up, y'all? It is Thais here. So, I just washed my hair and I recently purchased a new blow dryer. I have been wanting to try for years now. I think I'm so late to the game, y'all. I've seen so many people using this blow dryer. Finally got around to buying me one because I just want to see, like, how it works in comparison to my comb attachment blow dryer. You guys know I've been using this one for years now. And I love this one, but I want to see if this one would like, you know, be more gentler on my hair. This one has teeth, and I feel like maybe the paddle brush is a bit more softer when it comes to blow drying the hair. So I will be testing this out, seeing how it works, seeing what all the hype is about. I know this one has great reviews. So, so far, I'm loving the design. It's very lightweight. I love that about it so far. It doesn't feel like I'm holding a heavy brush, so... You know, going through my hair, does it feel like it'll take, I mean, it'll be like so strenuous, like, oh my goodness, this stuff is getting heavy. And the bristles feel like a real paddle brush, y'all. Like, look at the bristles. So this is where you brush the hair, and wow, it, it's actually soft right here, and the bristles is very flexible and soft as well. It doesn't feel like it'll do damage to my hair so far. So this is a blower brush. There are three settings. So it has the cool, low, and high. So the claims of this blow dryer, it says that it delivers smooth, straight results. It's Thermaline Ionic Technology, so it uses that technology. I think the other one I have was actually, which one is this one? This one is Ceramic. Oh, this one uses Terminized Ceramic Technology. So this one uses Terminized Ionic Technology. Dries and styles in one step. Tangle-free drying in up to half the time. Okay, so this one is claiming to deliver more power, meaning that, meaning that I don't have to sit there and blow dry my hair for a longer time. So I'm looking forward to that. And okay so I also noticed that it has a swivel cord right here so that's pretty cool it won't get tangled up while I'm trying to blow dry my hair so let's get into blow dry my hair if you'd like to see my wash day before I blow dry I'm going to you can watch it after this video but my hair is already towel dried Right now I'm going through the prepping process before I blow dry my hair. So I start by moisturizing my hair with a leave-in conditioner. Then after applying that leave-in conditioner to one section, I am going to be following up with my heat protectant spray. And then I go ahead and detangle that section first so that the blow dryer isn't doing most of the detangling. And then I proceed to blow dry in that section after detangling it. That is loud. So for that section, I will be starting at the ends of my hair. So this is going to limit as much breakage as possible. And then I'm using that opposite hand to glide down that section. So I try to get my hair dry at the ends first before I begin to move up closer to the roots.
Okay, so I just did my first section and oh my goodness, it feels so smooth. It actually feels a lot smoother than the comb attachment one that I've been using, the 3-in-1 Infinity by Conair. In comparison to that, it feels like the brush just melts through my hair a lot easier and it doesn't feel like it's tugging on my hair or it, my hair doesn't feel like it's at risk for breakage, if that makes sense. And I would say the drying time on this section was a little bit lesser than the, the comb attachment one that I'm used to using. But it's not like a big, big difference. It's not a huge difference. But I feel like it's a tad bit less drying time in comparison. And my hair came out fairly straight. The only con I would say is that it doesn't get the roots as good as the ends or as good as the one with the comb did that I used to use but yeah I'm gonna finish off the rest of my hair and let you guys know my final thoughts on it Honestly, I wish I got this a lot sooner. Like, I really wish. Oh my goodness. I cannot see myself going back to the comb, blow dry, y'all. Uh, this one is just so good. And you know why I didn't get this one sooner? Because I bought the in the Conair Infinity one when I was transitioning to natural hair. So I bought it because I wanted to be able to get to my roots because the ends were straight. I still had the relaxed hair on. Uh, I wanted to be able to blow dry my roots every week when I wash my hair. So I was going to get that one, but I was like, no. I really need a blow dryer just just for the roots, you know, because I figure I figure since this is like a paddle brush, it wouldn't be able to get close to the roots like the comb attachment one. And I was right, but now that I'm natural, I don't really need to have my roots super super pin straight to match my ends because my hair is all afro now. But so far, I'm loving it. Like, oh my goodness. I am so shocked I went so many years without getting that blow dryer because it's a lot gentler on the hair. Oh my goodness, it feels so much more gentler on the hair. It doesn't feel like it's pulling on my hair as much as a comb. And it feels a lot comfortable to use too on the hands. I would say that.
Okay, so I just got done blowing out my hair. My entire hair is blow dried as straight as possible. So I did use the low heat setting. So I don't know if it contributed to how straight my hair got, but usually I don't expect pin straight um, finish when I blow dry my hair anyways. But it looks good. I mean, my hair is nice and blow dried. I feel like the roots are not that bad. So that's one of the things I heard in a lot of reviews I watch. They say it doesn't get as close to the roots. But to be honest, I don't feel like it's that bad. I really don't. Like, look at how my roots look in comparison to the rest of my hair. It's not that bad in my opinion. It's not anything that I feel the need to complain about. Um, as far as the experience, so I love how lightweight it is. So it took me about 45 minutes to blow dry my hair. I did take a break in between. I was lolly gaga and on my phone, but it took me about, I was, yeah, about 45 minutes to blow dry. And the weight of the handle isn't bad at all. It's really, really lightweight. Um, the paddle, I love, love, love. Oh my goodness. I'm in love, first of all. Like, I am so shocked it took me this long, and I am really upset I took this long to buy this blow dryer. I just, I'm just more of like a smart spender, so when I have a blow dryer, I don't feel the need to go out there and spend more money buying a new blow dryer. That's not really how I spend my money. If I buy stuff, I just buy one one of a thing and I will keep it until it break. But something in me just kept telling me to buy this. Like, try it, try it, try it, try it, try it, try it. I'm so happy because the paddle is so gentle on my hair. I don't feel like it's tugging at my hair. I love how flexible it is. So it definitely moves with the hair in comparison to the comb attachment one I was using. It's very sturdy, so it has a lot of room for breakage because of the sturdiness of the comb attachment. This one, like, the flexibility on this is amazing. So as far as the drying time, I don't feel like there's a difference with, I don't really see the whole thing, how they say it cut it in half and... It speeds up the drying process. I feel like it dries my hair at almost the same rate as my old comb attachment blow dryer. Um, I'm happy, y'all. Like, what? I'm so happy. So, using maneuvering this in my hands is so much more comfortable, I would say. Um, because of how it just glides through, because of how the bristles glide through the hair. I don't feel like I'm doing much wrist work to like, you know, trying to move it and all of that stuff. And the, the brush is very gentle on my hair. My hair came out really good. It blow dried it really nice. My hair feels soft, so I love the ionic technology. It definitely doesn't make my hair crunchy at all. My hair feels really soft. And I'm really impressed, y'all. And I did this on low heat, so imagine if I did this on high heat. I would try high heat next time, but I'm not really a high heat girl. I don't really feel the need to put so much heat to my hair, but I'm happy I tried this, y'all. I wish I tried this sooner. So far, my initial, initial impressions of this blow dryer is definitely a bottom out of five star. I would give it, but of course, you know, you have to use things a few more times to really get a feel for it because I might like it now and then I go like on my third, fifth use, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I didn't even realize I had this problem before. But I'm really hype. I'm happy with my purchase. I'm really, really happy. And I think I'm done with the comb attachment one, y'all. Like, I don't see the need to go back. This one is so much more easier, so much more effective. I should have gotten it a lot sooner. But it's better late than never to experience a new product and find something better in my hair journey so i'm gonna wrap up my blow drying video y'all so i'm just gonna get ready to braid my hair for the week braid it down because it is rainy um over here we're actually in a little hurricane band it's on the west side of florida we're on the east coast of florida so we're not really feeling it as much but it's gonna be rainy all week so definitely gonna put in some braids in my hair to 
um, hold my hair down for the rest of the week. So thank you all so much for watching my blow dryer review. And I'm so mad. Like why y'all didn't tell me about this blow dryer? Y'all could have told me like Thais. I don't think anyone has ever suggested it to me. But I'm happy I tried it. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a rating. Subscribe for weekly videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.